We're backstage in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Mackenzie Dern, who just had her successful UFC debut tonight. And I have to give you credit, the most polite fighter ever. She came back and was like introducing herself to everyone. Amazing. Let's talk about this fight. You said there's no jitters. Was there excitement? Like, like, how did you feel knowing this is what I work for? Yeah, I, for sure I'm excited. You know, I was so excited. Um, but like I say, I kind of like feel it. I feel people are there to support me and people are following me. I have a big uh, jiu-jitsu and the, I have a big people, a lot of people in the world like supporting me. Yeah. But at the same time, I know that when you're on the top, people want to see who's going to stop you, you know, like, oh, she's just a jiu-jitsu girl. Oh, uh, even just the weight cut, you know, I know like there's people who want to see, will you make weight? But I know that they kind of think, okay, she won't make weight, <laughs> you know? So for me, I'm here like to show who I am, you know, like kind of, I don't want to say the haters, but the people who want to, to like negative, you know, I'm here to show them wrong. And the people who support me, I'm here to go, grow together. So I was so excited and I was ready to fight. <laughs> yeah, and you've certainly proved that to a lot of people. You know, Ashley Yoder, she came out very tough. It was a split decision. Any worry on your end that that might not go your way when it comes down to the scorecards? For sure. I mean, even in jiu-jitsu, you know, I know that sometimes you think you won the match and then the referee give to the other person and you're so surprised. So I'm, I'm used to that. You know, I, I was surprised when I saw a split decision. I thought it was definitely like 2-1. But when they say split, I thought, OK, maybe, maybe I, you know, I, I was in there too, so I wasn't really paying attention, you know. Um, so, but I knew it could go either way. I don't think it was bad or wrong, you know. Just going to try to be and make sure I don't leave to the judge's hand the next one. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not always in the judge's hands, especially when you're fighting. You know, when you I know it's hard with the all the adrenaline flowing and there's so much going on. But when you look back at the performance, what do you remember? And what do, were you happy about? What were you maybe not so happy about? Uh, you know, I was happy about my stand up for sure. Um, you know, I think I think as a fighter, I need to get better like distance and those things. You know, she's she's tall. You know, she's a lot longer than me. You know, so I'm still getting a little used to. And I never fought a southpaw before, so it was a little bit different for me to to remember those things. You know, I'm still beginning my career. You know, so uh, I I know I'm becoming a better and better fighter. And all these are new obstacles for me. And the next person I'll fight, maybe she'll be not southpaw, but maybe she'll I don't know. She does crazy back fist, You know, and I'll have to pay attention to that. So uh, I I'm happy how it was. You know, I wish I could put my game a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive but I know that the next fight would be even better. Yeah, that's a sure sign of a real competitor. You said UFC Rio is the card you'd like to be on. That would mean a lot to fight in Brazil. For sure. It would be awesome to fight there. Well, hopefully we get to see you on that card. I know the fans are looking forward to your next fight immediately. Mackenzie, congratulations. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks.